What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Well, leaping lot lizards, we have a lot to talk about. Today we have Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's sleep paralysis demon, our favorite call center-faced congresswoman, moisture-free Marjorie. <laughs> Every day she looks more and more wilted like a neglected houseplant. And that smile. <laughs> well, I've seen less shades of yellow out of Sherwin-Williams. Stop eating cigarettes. But Marlboro Marjorie is always a breath of stale air and the constant low-hanging fruit here at Teton. Hmm? A dingleberry. <laughs> she reeks like a hamster cage and is filled with the so-called righteous rage. <laughs> She's proof that a Christian's love comes with terms and conditions longer than the ones found on iTunes. And one of those conditions is you have to be straight. Y'all know Marjorie strongly opposes gay marriage because she cares about the sanctity of marriage. Even though since she's been married, she's seen more pricks than a COVID vaccine site. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we just desecrated the yeast beast like the Capitol on January 6th. But if she has a problem with it, she can just get over it. That's what she wants us to do in regard to the actual desecration of the Capitol. She said it's over. It only happened once and Democrats are over dramatizing it. And she couldn't be more right. Far right, that is. But seriously, the Republicans were only trying to violently overthrow democracy. Only five people died and more than 100 police officers were only injured. It's not a big deal that former President Pumpkin Tits and other lawmakers like Marjorie herself helped incite the deadly insurrection. What is a big deal, though, is that Jimmy Kimmel told a joke. <laughs> Marjorie recently reported Jimmy Kimmel to the police for a threat of violence after he said... Where's Will Smith when you need him? While talking about the yeasty Yeti. And just to be clear, she didn't call the Caspacho police. It was the Capitol Police. The same Capitol Police who she voted against being awarded the Congressional Gold Medal for defending the Capitol during the hillbilly heist on January 6th. Remember she thought Kenosha killer Kyle Rittenhouse deserved the highest award from Congress for his skill to kill. <laughs> She voted against the real heroes because she doesn't feel what happened on January 6th should be referred to as an insurrection. And she had a big problem with the Capitol being referred to as the temple of our democracy. But speaking of big problems, Free Speech for the People, a national nonprofit, nonpartisan organization, has a big problem with Marjorie Trader Greene. They recently filed a suit with the Georgia Secretary of State's office. Oopsie doopsie, Marjorie. The challengers say Marjorie aided and engaged in an insurrection to obstruct the peaceful transfer of presidential power, disqualifying her from serving as a member of Congress under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment and rendering her ineligible under state and federal law to be a candidate for such office. And a federal judge last week indicated she might allow a January 6th related constitutional challenge against the Candida's candidacy to proceed. But don't get your hopes up. A similar effort to block Madison Cawthorn from office was thrown out in North Carolina. But it is fun to watch Marjorie squirm. She's so pissed she filed a lawsuit to stop it. <laughs> Stay tuned. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you support domestic terrorism.